I will open uh, this project, the trades. This is the one that we worked on last time. We were in the middle of talking about templates. We kind of really went over understanding. Let me just make sure the recording is running. Yep, it's recording. So that's good. Uh, we, we are in the topic on templates. We spent some time, which I think it's worth the time to do. We spent about the flow of how we finally get to a specific view. We talked about, in fact, here we looked at the man and we saw how the man works. And I wanna go over today and really talk about also the other part, which is the menu. Now, everyone in Certificate 2 is already expert. That's very important to be expert. Okay, when we go here to this one, we get to the main menu, and in the main menu we have uh, several uh, several uh, uh, text here that I can go. It's really like the applications. You might don't have all of them. Okay, this one I added recently with the certificate too, but you definitely have the to do one. Billings you most likely don't have. Okay, or whoever is using the computer with uh, the guys in certificate two, they might have that. Michael, do everybody has those ones or yes. like Mark? Does Mark, uh, Mark no. has probably only the to do and- To do and main. Exactly, that's the two, the, the, what they're supposed to. Those mm -hmm. one will get to them uh, very soon. In fact, in a couple of weeks we'll get to those, okay? But yeah. the most important thing is to understand how mm -hmm. does it work? I said in a page, we usually have sometimes some people like, uh, you know, to put a menu here, you can put a menu on the right side, you can put a menu on the bottom, any way you want. But this is a very classical to get the idea. Have a menu on the left, have a menu on the top. And this is like what we call the content of the page. Okay, this is like the content of the page. And the way I organize that, it's in such a way that it's easy to modify each one of them. Okay, but we spend a lot of time and I always spend a lot of time because I think it's extremely important is to understand the way we write here on the top and what do we get here. When I don't write anything, so I get this page. If I write here slash to do, uh, pay attention, I will get a different page, which is really a different, another page. And to understand what's happening, it's extremely important. Very, very important. So let me just one more time. And there is no, don't get intimidated that I'm repeating myself. I am aware to that. I do it intentionally. Because this is you must know very well, extremely well. And later on, it gets easy and you can forget about it. It's such an important topic. And you will face it so much. And understanding how it works, even in advanced topics like API, which we haven't touched yet even for certificate two, how you use Ajax, all of that, it's such an important issue. So that's why I repeat a lot of, over and over. So one more time, very quickly, if I don't write anything, it means the application in here. Let me close my other one, because I need that one. Uh, uh, I go, you know, it usually go into the projects under the projects, you have the URL of the projects. And in the URL of the projects, is looking for the empty one. Why the empty one? As we said last time, because I didn't put anything after the 8,000. Okay? If there is nothing there, it means go and look for the manuals, but look for the place that it's empty. Okay, so it doesn't like me. Mm. 
not I have too many things. Let me put this one as well. I'll just close some stuff here. Let me close this one. This is a big file too. I have to close that one. Get some more memory. Okay, I hope now it will behave better. Let me close this also. Okay, let's go back to here. Okay, so well, I'm looking for the empty one because I didn't put anything after the slash. That takes me to the URLs of the main application. How do I know that? Because it says trades, apps, main. So trades, apps, main, and then it tells me go to these five URLs, start P, 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 Y. So I'm going to here. And here again, I'm looking for the empty one because the empty one is really, because I didn't put anything. So it's going to take me to this function. This function exists in the views. Okay, and that's what we did last time. So we're going to this home, control B, and then in the home, it tells me, go activate this function. And this function, that's what we call views. I will come back to that uh, a lot next time, okay? But for today, again, I want to finish up talking about the templates, okay? And so it tells me, send to the user this template. And what is this template? It's in the main application in the templates. We have main and we have the home. Double click on it. And that's the one we played with <coughs> last time. We spent a lot of time on that. And just a reminder, we'll do it one more time. It's worth the time, honestly. Let me just take this one out. And do it again and summarize what we did last time. I'm going to remove the whole thing from here. Pay attention, we have extend. Extended means now home page is exactly like the base main. The base main, we usually put it under the templates, not in the directory main, but right under that. If you look at that one, let me just put that one so I don't lose it, like I did last time. And this one, it says, okay, home, go to this web page, put in that one. If I don't put anything, it says, okay, render or send this one. Okay, what is this one? This is the base, main. But the base main is also based on another template. So let's delete everything here again. We'll do it again as we did last time. We'll repeat what we did last time. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, this is one, that's another one. And what it does now, it basically says bring the base. And the base, where we usually put the base, it's in the same directory of the projects. We have the apps, but we also have something called templates. And here is the base. So here is really the base. So if I refresh the screen now, since I remove so many things, okay? If I refresh it, it's just telling me there's nothing here on the top beside logo. There's the left side and there is the body part, but it says, welcome to the church project. And just remind you, what it really does is basically telling me, this is my web page, the base. This one is just referring to this one and this one is referring to this one and they're not doing anything. So it really is sending me this one. So let's look at what this one has. First things, we talked last time about that HTML has two parts, the body and the head. So the same things we have here. In the head, we built a, there's a lot of stuff. I haven't talked about them. We will, don't worry. In fact, in certificate two and three more. But one of the things we did talk about it last time 
that we put a, a, a block and here we have a block of title. What does that mean? By the way, if you look in HTML, we'll put a base. If you look here, here we have a base. If you look at this page now that I just opened, it says base here. You see that? It says base. So this base, here it is. The reason it's, it's there, it's because I just put it here. So if I want this best man to change the title on the top, all what I have to do is copy this one, put it here, and now just change that one. Let's call that one just for the fun of it. Let's call it man, okay? And now if I refresh, see what's gonna happen. Everything will stay the same. The only thing changed is really is it says men here instead of it was a base. So this is the way I can change. And if I want even more than that, when I'm, you know, since this one is taking everything from here, I can take this one and say, you know what? I want to bring everything from here, but you know what? The title, I don't want it to be this one. I want this one to be the home. Uh, I can call it man hall, whatever you like, guys to like. But just to understand the idea, a block allows me to bring another template and override that specific section. So now, if I want to refresh, this one will override this one, which is overriding this one. So let's go and see if that's really the truth. So let's refresh again. And you can see it says main hall. So what did we learn? This is a very important thing. We have an, a basic HTML that has two parts, a head and a body, and we're gonna talk about it more. Inside, we can put blocks. And when I put in the blocks, I can override that specific block. So far, so good, guys. Everybody's happy? Yes. What do you say, guys? Everybody happy? Yes. Jimmy, okay. Mark, everybody happy? I hope it's clear so far. It's very important. It's already the foundation. Everything says will get even easier. Okay, it's already that hard. Okay, so let's move on. As I did the change in the header, I could look at the body. Let's look at the body. So let's minimize this one so it won't bother me. Okay, let's look at the body. By the way, the body has a lot of stuff, by the way. You know, I have a picture here, if you notice. We talked about how to make the pictures or come. There is really a condition is, uh, you know, this section is checking if the person really did the log in or not. We, again, we talk about it, it's not that crucial yet. This one check if the person has the authority to be like a staff member is a, you know, like, or oh, is an administrator I could have written there, is a super user, those stuff we'll talk about in the future. But the idea is very similar, okay? But I don't really want to get into those ones today. I, it's already of my concern for now. I really would like to leave all of those as they are. And I really most of them really dealing with the part of the navigation on the left. So I'm gonna, you know, Leave this part aside. Don't, don't, don't play with it for now. I look for stuff that are really in the body of it. Okay, otherwise, you know, just do this part. Okay, what is this part? If you have a good eye, you can tell there is home A, home B, home C, okay? Let's look at that on the left side. You can see, if you go here, you see this is stuff you can, you see, list one, list two. Uh, where is the home? I don't see here the home, by the way. There's a staff, no, because this is a staff member. Okay, so you don't really see. If it's a staff, it puts that stuff. If not, it will put some other stuff. So let, let's ignore, sorry about it. I'm gonna ignore all of it. I don't really care for now, the whole thing's here. 
This is the only thing that I really do, do care. It's about this one. If you can see, I have how to register. There's a little things here on the very end. This is by the way, the navigation. All this segment, it's the left side. All this part. See, all this part, it really is, you can think about this part as dealing with the left side. By the way, as you can see how to register, you have a button here. It's already depend if I'm a staff or not a staff. This is everybody sees that. So if I look at this part, okay, in the very end, don't be intimidated if you don't understand. I'm jumping all over the place. So don't get scared. I don't really care about all of that stuff. Only things is just this part. This part tells me that I want a button to say how to register. You see A and A, it's a link. And I put a class called download. We talk about it in certificate too, about classes that make it look like a nice button, okay? And this class is also making it a little stylish, but we don't really care. What we really care, what I really care, it's about this one for now. This one means it's a button, gonna look nice. And that's the only things I have on the left side here, okay? All the segment on the left side here, it is really here. So if you want to believe me, I'm going to do something that looks weird, but not really. I'm going to take the whole thing and delete it for a second. Never be afraid to delete, you know, what can happen. So you can copy it again. I'm going to delete it, okay? And I'm going to refresh. And you will see that the whole part on the left is going to disappear. Everything disappears because that segment in the HTML deal with the left side, okay? Put it back. Okay, also this part, only this part of this big element, this one really has to do depend who is the user, if he is a staff member, if he's not staff member, you put some different stuff, okay? But one thing it does for sure, if you notice, this part has an image, this one is a condition. So I don't really care about the condition. I'm not gonna deal with this one at all. I'm just jumping to see the other two parts. I wanna talk the bottom one and the top part on the left side. Only those two elements. So what do we have here? This is says image. I didn't really talk about how do you make it. Again, we'll do it in fact in this certificate and we'll talk about it. And we have about two sessions or three sessions down the road. We learn about this one. Uh, for now, I just have a, a nice image. So let's see what this part is. This part is nothing but, I'm gonna refresh. It really is this part, okay? It really is this part. And this part depends on who is the user that I didn't talk about. And the last part doesn't really matter who is the user, it always has a button. So this is a button. This is this little image, okay? And this is like a little box called a div. In HTML, we have something called a div. It's like a little box, okay? So this is the div of the little box. Inside, inside I have a picture. Inside I have a picture. You see that this is the picture. And right under that, I says option trading. You see that? And if I go here, it does say option trading. I can change this word, by the way, just by going here and said, I can say, so the ticket one, okay. Software engineering certificate one. And you can see this title is gonna change in a second. Okay, let's see if I'm right. Let's refresh. <clears throat> and indeed it changed SE certificate one, but it doesn't look nice. I will fix it in a second. 
very simple. In fact, since uh, it's a little H, it's a, uh, it doesn't really have, let's put a, 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 a new line, E R. This is like put a new line there. Let's see if it will do a better job now. Yeah, it looks nice. So SE certificate one. I just had to, to say, put this in new line. But that's basically really putting a picture and putting this little title. And both of those are really right here. Okay, let's look at that one more time. This part, it's nothing but putting a pictures for me. This is a picture. And we didn't really talk about how do you do that, we will. And then I have, by the way, this is really interesting if you see, this is first name and last name. Everybody see that? In fact, since I logged in as Amos Baranis, it takes the user that first name and last name. By the way, what does it take the user from? We'll talk about it, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about this part. We will have a lot of time to talk about. But only very important, I just wanted you to know this part, it's nothing but the left side, this element, just this part. Beautiful. Then I skip this part. I'm gonna skip this part. And I'm just talk, gonna talk about this button one more time. Let's go and look at the bottom. I'm skipping the whole section here, skipping. For now, it's not interest to me. If I really has no interest at all, at least not for this certificate. And then I have another part here, which is really for the download. You know, instead of here, let's call it how to register to a. I'm just making it up. You know, I just wanted you to see that this is really part of this one. So I'm gonna refresh this part and you will see it's gonna change. I'm gonna refresh and here we go. The title indeed have changed, okay? Now, if I click on it, it's gonna do something, okay? And the beautiful part of it is, and we will learn more and more about templates and more advanced. We have a whole session on that. It, this A, it's a link. It's really a link and then when you link, it says link to where? And this one I'm not gonna explain today, I will explain in the future. It tells him, go and get this, you know, document, a war document. And when you click on it, they will download it. But I don't really wanna go over it now. The only things I would like to mention, class is very important and the people in certificate you already know, it makes, it makes this button looks nice. Okay, like square, Little rounded. Let's 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 delete those stuff so you can appreciate it. I'm gonna remove that for a second, and I'm gonna remove this one. It will look like a maze, but that's okay. Just to see what the effect of those class. This is really like styling, making this button to look nicer. So let's refresh. You see, it's now had only a list. You know, when I put the mouse, you're doing some. Not really what I wanted, and that's why you learn a little styling. So it looks like the way you really want it to look like. Okay, let me even make it more than that. Let me destroy it even more. You know, I'm gonna destroy the whole thing here. So let's see what happened now. Oh, look totally ugly. But this is really, honestly, this is the most important line, but the rest is important because people want to see it's nice. So, but from functionality point of view, that's the hard part here. Now it looks like regular. If I would click on it, it will download a file. We will learn it in the future. Some people say, well, I like it this way. Well, fine. But you can make it so nice. Depends on what you really want. You can play with the styling. If I click on it, by the way, it will download a file. You see, it downloaded the file. That's really what this button does, okay? But that's, we will have more time to talk about it in the future. Let me put that back so it will look as it was before. Get it back. Refresh. So why did I mention that? By the way, if you say, well, Amos, I would like to have two buttons. In this part, 
instead of having one button, I want two buttons. Can I do that? Of course. And you should know how to do without knowing really. Just take this part and copy it to here. And let's call this one Uganda. This button will call it Uganda. By the way, of course, when I click on Uganda, I like it to do something else. And what I want it to do, we will change this one. Also, maybe I don't want it to look like the button as this one. I might put a different class. And this might look different. But if I want them to look the same, I usually would keep the same class. What does it do? It goes in the HREA. And we will talk about that a lot. Don't worry about it. That's a very important topic. But at least you yourself will have two buttons now. Let's go and refresh. Here we go. I have two buttons. If I will click, we'll do the same things because I gave it the same, I gave it the same uh, instructions what to do. Okay. So I won't be surprised that if I will click here, we'll download the file. Yeah. See, it downloaded another one. The buttons do the same things. Okay. By the way, and just a comment, and everyone in certificates too already know, I can uh, change a little bit. If I want Uganda to look different, I can use style. By the way, this is just addition. It's not really the topic for today. I just wanted to know that you will know there's so much you can do. Color, and let's write red, okay? So what it is going to do now, it will put the, the word Uganda in a red color. Let's see if I'm right. And here we go, Uganda really in a red color. You can make so much, but you can't really learn everything in one day. And hopefully in the next uh, certificate and over time, you even learn how to learn by yourself. I'm gonna remove it just for the, to get back to what we were. So we learned that all this segment, all this segment deals with the left part. Now we have another segment called content. And inside the content, if you have a good eye, you will see in fact the content really dealing with everything on the right side. But the right side, we have two sections. We have the title, that's where we're gonna put some links and we have the body of the page, okay? So let's look at that. So in here, we have the, the, the first nav Let's click on it. And we have another part. This one, by the way, you can ignore. This is really for messaging. Uh, you know what, for, you know, just for simplicity, I will, will delete it. So you don't really get confused for now, okay? So I have really two sections here in the content, the left side. One is for the toolbar and one is for the content of the page. And now, I did it as a smart way. And what do I mean in a smart way? Let's first of all, look at the, you know, let's leave the title for now. I'll get back to the title. I'll get back to the title. This one is really dealing with the title. By the way, if I delete it, you can see the title will disappear. At normal title, see that? So that part is really dealing with the toolbar what we call toolbar. Let's go put it back. And I'm not gonna play with it now. We'll play with it later on. Okay, I wanna talk about the body. And if you see, I put the body, okay, in a block, okay? And it says, welcome to the trade project, H1. That's why we see this title, let me refresh again. We got back the toolbar and this is what it says, welcome to the trade project. By the way, if I remove that, if I delete this one from here, there will be nothing there. It's totally empty. So this page is totally empty. I hope I'm clear, yeah? Mark, how are you guys doing? Mark, you doing good? Mildred? Yes, I'm, I'm good. Is Patricia with us? Or she, or Belinda? How are you doing, Belinda? 
I'm fine. Good. Am I clear? Yes, you are. Thank you. Okay. Don't hesitate to jump. Okay. We All right. A question in Hebrew says that the shy cannot study. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. And every question is a good one. I never got any bad question. I never had a, any student ask me, uh, you know, another smart uh, question. So don't hesitate. All questions are excellent. Okay. And this is new stuff. So that's why I repeat myself. I try to repeat myself. Okay. Very good. So let me move on. We are now going to focus only on the body. Later on, we'll, in a minute, we'll focus on, also on the toolbar itself. Let's talk about the body. And if you have a good eye, you can see this part is going to deal with, I'm just going to put that one back. Hey. I put it in a block. Now we know what the block does, don't we? That means I can copy this part, go to the basement here, and just put this block here and change it. I can write one come to the trade projects main page. And this is, as this one overriding the title, this is going to override the body. So this one is going to really override this part. That's pretty cool. Let's see if it does it. So let's go back to here. Let's go back to here. Refresh. And nice, you see, is overriding the other one. You know what? So you don't get confused. Okay, so don't think that it really has to do. This one is totally deleted, by the way. This is totally deleted. Just to, so you don't think that it's like taking the other one from there. Let me just put that one. That one doesn't exist. It will say just main page. It's overriding totally the whole things. So let's refresh. You see it says main page, totally overriding. And now the same logic, very easy. I can take this one and just put it here and override whatever it's in the previous one. And now I can say main page, I can, here would be nice to say home, right? And let's see if it does now, it will say home. <clears throat> it will write over this one, it will write main page, let's refresh. And that's the logic of kind of overriding another template. It's beautiful because I don't really have, in the new template, I don't really have to touch anything here. You see that? That's the cool things about it, very good. So this is like, I have three layers. I can have some segment, by the way, to modify the whole things here, to modify the whole things here, to modify the whole things here. For now, we learn how to modify the title here and how to modify the body, okay? Let's move on. Let's move on to a little more interesting uh, stuff, okay? Let's say, let's say what else can we can do. Let me go into the code that I just deleted. In fact, this one, if you have a good eye, by the way, this is what I had. The load static, bear with me. This one I deleted from here. In fact, this is really just this, same things. So I'm just putting that one back. This one I will talk about, the static is very important. I will talk, that's a different topic. But for now, I just put back that one. And let's see what I had originally here. By the way, hey, you know what? I didn't do any change to the body in here. I did something else change. This is was in, the, in this part. In the main, I didn't really change the body. I wasn't care about changing the body. I was care about changing this part. And this one is really has to do with a different block that exists in here. So let's look for that block. It really is in the navigation. I jumped on that part. This one is in charge, okay, of making this part. And this part, I made some block that I can add stuff into here. What do I mean by that? If you go here, you have some button here, okay? 
you have other things. I'm not going even to go over them. I don't really care for now. But I do have something interesting that it says, or oh, is the tour body, but this is the tour body. Yeah. There's a section here. You see that part? Two blocks. One says block ep turba, and one says, let me just for you, for the fun of it, I will write Amos, and I will write, you know, Amos one, 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 and here I will write Amos two, 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 two. So, you know, this is really, uh, let me take this one away for now. If you go here and you refresh it, you see it says Amos one 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 one, and it says also Amos two two two. It's basically, really, it put whatever I typed inside here. But I really don't really have any reason to put Amos one one one. I don't really want to put Amos one one one. I want it to be empty in the basic template, in the base. I do want to change this one. And now as we learn that if I overwrite the black app toolbar, meaning this is really if I modify this section, it is like taking this part and putting it inside here, inside here. And what does it, this do? By the way, as you can tell, I have something for the logo. You see, here it's just for logo. Meaning, if I don't put anything here, it's a little hard for the first time. If I don't put anything here, I get only, I removed Amos, yeah? You see, I get the log off. You see that? Why is this one came from? This one came from the base one. It's this part. Now, if I want to add more buttons like this one, I can put them here. And that's what exactly I'm doing with the app toolbar. And then we have a sub app toolbar. We talk about that in a minute. But in the main, I'm gonna put that one back. Okay, this means that all those stuff going to be added. By the way, you can see we have to do New towns, buildings, game store. Let me erase those ones so you don't. No, you know what? Let me erase those ones just for the fun of it. For now. We'll get back to those. Don't worry. I'm going to add another button to do. So it's like really, you can think about it. It's like I'm adding this other button here, like the, the log off that would come before, because this one is before this one. Let's do it. Refresh. And here we go, we have another button, as we had here. If I did more buttons, I wouldn't delete those ones, leave those ones too. I will have one, two, three, four, and the logo. That's what I should have. So I'm refreshing, and here we go. One button for each one, that's pretty cool. So modifying the toolbar Modifying the toolbar, we can modify this block in the main base. Fair enough. If I want to add more, depend on the page, I can do it here. That one usually will do it in the specific page. So let's see what I did in the specific page. By the way, this is ready to took care of that part. And now let's see what I did here. Okay, this one we did already. Hey, hey, you know what, this one I will leave. I will talk about it in a minute. For now, I'm just going to go here, add this one back, because I'm gonna use it, okay? I always love to leave it there. We have here the title, that's for the main. We're overriding now the base, yeah? So we're overriding the title and the body. They really want to modify the body, yes. But see, I really want to modify it to be like this. Let's see what this one does. 
I don't want just stupid things here. I'm gonna modify, I'm gonna take this one for now out. So this is a picture, that's fine. What do we have here? Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so I'm modifying the body. I'm putting a block, you see div is a block, as you already know. And by the way, these are just empty lines. So strip with them. And then I have a title, main page, main application. Okay. And this is really a button with an image. Okay. And we talk about that in a minute. In fact, it's what it's going to do if I click on it, it will take me to Academy C. Okay. It's a picture. I have an image here. We didn't talk about how to organize an image, but IMG, this one is for picture. And I have around the picture, the A means if you click on the picture, it's gonna take you, because I have HREF, it tells me go to academycity.org. So let's see if that really what it does. Let's refresh it. Beautiful, you see, I got a picture. I got a title, it says Amos here. This Amos, it's nothing but this Amos. I can delete it, I don't really care about that. It's just a major title. I could write any other title. I can write any title, any title. I don't know, whatever. You will see if I refresh it, that part will change. If I want to put some nice title for this specific page, this one is another title, see this one? This one, it's basically this part. I don't really need so many titles, let's take this one away. By the way, you can see the one, it's a bigger, three it's smaller title. Okay, let's take those ones away. We don't need, that's the first, so we have a nice title, let's say this one, and we have a picture here. By the way, if I remove the A around it, I would still have the picture, but if I click on the picture, nothing will happen. This one just empty lines, like empty rows, so they have no meaning. So really basically, I have a title and a picture, but this time when I click on the picture, it will not do anything, see? Okay, I removed the big title, I left a small. If I click, nothing happening. You see I'm clicking, nothing happening. Now I want, if I click, I want something to happen. And that's what we do here. I am surrounding the picture, or more correctly to say, I'm putting the picture inside a link. This is the link A, and then some stuff inside. It's a link. By the way, the class is also only just for the nice design, but this is really what tells him what to do. It tells him, go to Academy City website. It's like typing academycity.org. By the way, it's better to put HTTPS. My website is secured. And what it will do, when somebody will click on the picture, it's like the A says, go to this web page. And that's really what he's going to do. So let's refresh. It still looks exactly the same, but there's a big difference. Now, if I click, you see what happened to the mouse? The mouse, yeah? See the mouse turned to a hand, okay? Because now if I click, it will do something. Let's click. And he's going to Academy City website. That's pretty cool. Now, there's a lot of things to learn about this link. Okay, and I send you again, please do go to the W3 school, okay? And you can learn about, there is a command, a target. If you put a target equal to blank, it will basically, will open the same page, Academy City, but it will not, it will not open it in the same one, it will open a new window. But this is a lot of knowledge that you accumulate over time and you becomes to be more valuable as time goes by. So let me click on that one again. This time you will see this, this window is still open, but it's opening this one in a different window. Just a detail, it's nice to know. 
And you can learn a lot about those links in, as I said, W3 uh, website. This is really, okay. So what did we learn? We learned that we can override or can extend other templates. We can put blocks. And when we extending, when we extending an HTML, we can really uh, put blocks and we can override those specific blocks. In this example, here we overriding the body. In this one, we're really overriding the toolbar. So already it's like two stages. If you notice, this is really nice. Right away, I can hear what we see later on. We might even change some of the toolbars even in here, okay? Because if you recall, we have, this is we usually check for the application like in the main. And this one we assign if we want to add more toolbars, okay, uh, some buttons in the toolbar for the specific page. We'll see examples, okay? One more last things for today uh, regarding templates. If you notice, I originally had the code has this one and not what I wrote for you here. Please see the difference. Here I just said main home, okay? And in fact, if you look here, it says main home. Let's say somebody else wants to call it something else. And that's really linking us between the view and the template. Now we're jumping a little bit. This is the beginning of the jump. Instead of just writing the main home, I don't want to write it here. I want the programmer to decide. And I have these special things inside. By the way, look at that one more time. I'm replacing this one. It's exactly the same everything's here. Beside this one, here I'm putting title. Everybody see that? It says title, okay? So in the title, what is this title? Where it's come from? It comes from here. That's the important thing. This is the title. And in the title, I called it school. So that means when this template is being built or organized before sending it to the user, Django is smart enough to take this title, which says school, and we'll put it right here instead of just writing homepage. So I'm gonna delete this one. And what will happen now, the title will say school. Pay attention to the word we write. That's a language called Jinja. If I have a variable coming from the view, coming from the view, title, this is as you recall in Python, it's a dictionary. I'm sending the dictionary with one variable called title and the value of it is school. So when I get to here, it's gonna put the word school. It's gonna replace this one with the school. So let's see if I'm right. Meaning, when I get here, it will say school here. It should say school here. Let's refresh. Ah, it does. Okay? If I want it to say, you know, if I want it to say a men's school, a men, I can go into here now and change this one to say main. Whatever I will write here, that's what we would type there. Main page. Now let's see, it should say main page. Let's go here, refresh, let's refresh, and it should say main here, main page. Yep, you didn't like me, you made a mistake. Well, here we go. He had to refresh himself. Okay, very good. So here we go. Okay, so this is the beginning for for really uh, uh, interactions between view and template. But we do understand now, we have all the understanding how the templates are being done. And we go over time and learn more and more stuff. Let me just jump to one little thing. And with that, we'll finish for today. Let me talk about what this one does. Okay, by the way, if you see, this is really putting those buttons putting those buttons here on the top. So what's really happening here? When I put the mouse here, 
This is a hard topic, so please pay attention. It's slightly hard, but we'll go over it several times. When I click on it, I want it to go to application call to do. Let me click on it first. So pay attention, it went to another page. And how did it do it? It really wrote here down to do. So how does he know how to do it? One more time, let's click delete it. We are in the main page. And when I put the mouse here, please pay attention to the bottom part here. You can see it's in the bottom part here. Look at the bottom here. I'm gonna put my mouse and look at it here. It says in the bottom to do. You know, 127, 001, 8000, slash to do, slash. If I go here, it will change to Uganda towns. Then it's buildings. It's going to a different applications. What does it do? How does it do it? How does it know? I only put such a simple things here. So first of all, this is the name of the button. To do, Uganda towns, buildings, game store, as you can see right here. This is the button's name. When I click on one of them, what do they do? They literally do whatever I tell them to do in here. But this one is a little, very, very sophisticated. Okay, I will go over that today, I'll go over that again next time. Very important. What it says here, go to, when I click on here, go to the application to do. That's what the first part says. You know, this is the ginger language. So you have to write it this way. By the way, the way I remember it, I just almost copied for myself. I will say that sentence many times during the course. I will copy myself. So I'm gonna copy this one if I need another button. But the nice thing is, I put the word you want. This is a weird uh, parenthesis with, uh, with parenthesis. It's required by Jinja language. Then I put a URL. URL means go to the language, the URL of the application to do. What is the application to do? We have applications here. We have applications called to do. Here we go. So it says to me, go to the URL of the applications to do. So I'm going to the to do, and there is a URL here. Here we go. URL, that's what it means, URL. By the way, in another, versions of uh, Django, you can put even URLs with the S, but don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm getting here. And then it says to me, go to the function by the name index. One more time, I go to the URLs in the to do, I got you here. When I get inside this file, I need to go to a, a link with the name index. So let's go double click. Or is a link, this is, we have three links here. You see, one, two, three. And which one has the name index? Everybody see that? Here we go. Name, name, this one, name. But this one is the only one that has the name index. So it says to me, go to the function linked to the one with the name index. So I need to go to this function. So let's go to there, control B. It means, do this one. That's really what it means. That's beautiful. So much work is done for me automatically. Django does it. It says, go and open the index page really in the to do application. Here it says, go to the, this one, it says, do the same things, go to the Uganda. Okay, let's see application Uganda, or is Uganda? Here it is, Uganda. Go to the URLs. Okay, I'm going to the URLs. Go to the index, the link with the name index. Double click, index, here it is. <coughs> Sorry, so go to this function. I'm going to this function. <coughs> Sorry, go to this function. In fact, that's what I'm supposed to do, is rendering a main page of the application of Uganda. We'll talk about it a lot in the future. Don't worry about it. Well, we're getting the idea. This is a very smart way to navigate between applications. And this is a very important one to remember. I write the URL, which application, and to the name of the link I want to go to. 
By the way, if I wanted in the to do to go to another one, let's say this one will not be good. Draw, let's say what is the draw? I have no idea what draw does. By the way, let me just check what does it do. Oh, this one I think is the level level four, which I don't really want to do now. Oh, no, it doesn't do really anything. So let's see what it does. That's just for the fun of it. That change, it, this one will go to the draw. I'm changing. When I click on, on the to do, okay, I could go to the index. This one, I need to put an index, so I'm not doing this one. But there is something with the draw. Let's see what it will do. So I'm just destroying this file, really. And instead of going to the index, I want him to go to a different one. I want him to go to, let's write here. I will write here, draw. So we know it's going a different way. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Uh, you see, I have a different button because I call it differently. But this time when I click, it's going to give me something else. See that? That's pretty cool. Is that right? Everybody got it? Patricia, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, Belinda? See, what I did is, you know, there is a hidden function. I never showed it to anybody. See? But there is a function I did, which now, instead of going to the main page, which was index, by the way, I can really add another one here. I can leave this one to do. That's why I would go to the index. Okay, and that's why I would go to the to do. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Refresh. Let's go to the main. Okay, in the main, I just added another button. If I go here, I'll go to the main page. You see, it changed that one to the to do. I go back to the main. In the main, if I click on this one, it will go to the draw. Click here. You see, it changed that to do, draw. See that? That's pretty cool. And it took me to the right page. Okay? I think that's enough for today. Please, please go over with your mentor for uh, over what I did today, I will put a link to the session today. And also go with your mentor, please do. It's very, very, very uh, important thing. That's true.